It's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. We set it inside Ladies the and gentlemen, Here's this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just out of range with that right hook. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
just out of range with that left hook. I mean, he's cut them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Straight punch land. Nice one, two there. He blocks the punch. Got the single collar tie. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big off punch land. Now we get back to range. What a head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice punch, man. Keeps the elbow there. There's no kill on that leg kick. Oh, nice combination, yes. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Good punch land. Oh, big elbow. Slips to avoid that left. Big leg kick land. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Single collar tie now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's his time. Look at him top of the wood. Top of the wood with those leg kicks. Five minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round. And how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs. And when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head. And largely, that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be. And it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. The opponent's not moving his head. And he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Here. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Back and forth we go! And there comes the separation now. 
Listen how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And he lands in a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. And threw it with ill intent. Well, you gotta think he's gonna win. And potentially take a critical takedown here. Found the target with that left hand. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Nice punch, Lynn. Real quick leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Lands the right hand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off him by blocking all these attacks. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeted. It. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Right hand and a left. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to me. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Good punch. Unable to connect with the right hook. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Effective punch there by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What a round. All right, well, that's the end of the round. So the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men. Stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. 
I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next Ready? round. All right, next round is Ready? now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Nice leg kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch. Just missed with the leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back to the overhand left, no good. Way to hide that leg kick. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big head kick. Shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked. Left hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Nice kick. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful hit. They continue to exchange. Leg kick. What a body kick. Pretty good right hand. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Going orthodox now. He landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. There's no tell on that leg. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Just misses with the jab there. Well, it looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Beautiful body kick. Good stick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now connects with a right. Just out of the range with that right hand. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. What a punch. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him. He got him. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Keep moving. 30 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Go, Lee gets up. The question beckons, though, for how long. He still looks like he hasn't quite recovered. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee 
gets caught for that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. We had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, I want you to put the pressure on him. Right in his face. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the key round. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. The punch over the top. Punch is blocked. See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that point. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Nice straight punch. Such a fast leg kick. Another shot here. All right, single collar tie now. He's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Then three minutes remain in round two. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Able to check that kick as well. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. 
Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Big kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Unable to connect there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Ten seconds to go in round four. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And he caught the kick. Nice kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chopping out the tree. You beat your opponent by slow. Huge right hand! All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Under three minutes now to go round five. opponent swarming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and is very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight.
good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get off of under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. That is it. Oh! And there comes the stoppage. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marvin McCoy! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, also,